The Detroit News has uncovered a story about new Lions coach Matt Patricia that the team missed during the vetting process dating back to when he was in college in 1996. He and a teammate from college were indicted by a grand jury on one count of aggravated sexual assault after an incident during spring break in South Padre Island, Texas. The charge was dismissed in 1997, and he's denied it. On Wednesday, he released a statement saying, quote, as someone who was falsely accused of this very serious charge over 22 years ago and never given the opportunity to defend myself and clear my name, I find it incredibly unfair, disappointing, and frustrating that this surface or the story would resurface now with the only purpose being to damage my character and reputation. I firmly maintain my innocence as I have always done. I would never condone any of the behavior that was alleged and will always respect and protect the rights of anyone who has been harassed or is the victim of violence. Now, Lions GM Bob Quinn also has released a statement saying they have spoken to Patricia at length about what happened, as well as the attorney who represented him at the time, <coughs> and have accepted their first year coach's explanation, and they are standing by him. It's an extraordinarily complicated and very disturbing story if you read the details of what was initially alleged. And again, he was indicted at the time, and then there were no charges that were brought further. Beyond that, there were a couple of things about it that I guess in the scheme of things are the least important pieces of it that I do find confusing, which is the notion that this was not uncovered in the process Correct. of making the decision to hire him to such an extraordinarily important and high-profile role, I do find odd. It's not, a, it's not even a remotely similar circumstance to what we saw with Josh Allen a couple of weeks ago before the draft. But again, the idea that he had things on his social media that people had not seen up until that point, that never struck me as being something that made sense with all of the vetting and all of the security that goes on in these decisions. And so I would feel similarly about this. The notion that the team did not ever uncover any of this, was not privy to any of this, does strike me as very strange, although they maintain that they knew nothing about it. And it becomes an extremely complicated situation to discuss, because without knowing what actually happened, right. it's really very difficult to say what should the result have been. And I'm a Detroit native. I'm a diehard Lions fan. And like you, I'm conflicted for a couple of reasons. When you talk about it not being uncovered in this search, does that mean it wasn't uncovered in the when he got hired by the Patriots? Let's not act like this is his first job. So right. number one, did they know? Did he share that with them or not? The other thing I don't want people to do, and he kind of did it in his, um, his statement, whether it was 22 years ago or two years ago, true or false is more important than how long ago it was. Right. A lot of times, if people say, well, it was 15 years ago, that doesn't mean it didn't happen. It doesn't mean it's not important. It doesn't mean that these allegations aren't so very serious. So I got to put that out there. Lastly, it lends to this question I want to ask you, Bees, because I want to hear what you have to say about this. Did he owe his employer to tell them that information with the same responsibility you felt like they should have uncovered that situation? Right. I mean, their explanation for that was because the charges or the, or the case was dismissed and that the only thing that pops up in their vetting process is criminal convictions, which either that's a major flaw in your system or someone's being less than honest about it. Um, the other thing that I think makes this tricky is that there are two different versions of how this fell apart. One, mainly from his side, is that she recanted, which is a heck of a lot different than the other side, which is saying she basically just was unreachable. Like she disappeared, didn't want to address it, didn't feel like she was up to being in court and testifying and going through the stresses of a trial. Those are two very they different are. ways of a case being dismissed, and so I think while he may think this was, you know, a long time ago and we've all moved on, the gray area of this makes this entire thing very uncomfortable. It does, Bees. And also, which lends me to ask you, you the question, Greeny, do you think either one of those teams, the Patriots or the Lions, did or should have asked him certain questions like, have you ever been arrested? Have you ever been in charge? Have you ever been indicted? I mean, they ask you that if you... I assume those questions at some point along the way were asked. That's why this is very complicated, because we don't know exactly what happened. We don't know exactly what happened 22 years ago. We don't know exactly what happened in the hiring process in New England. We don't know exactly what happened here. What we do know um, are just what the statements are, and I would assume there will be more to discuss, because he's going to speak about it. Yeah, he's actually going to speak to the media at 1145 this morning as part of the team's minicamp media availability.